most common step in Tai Chi is the simple step forward. However, when I say simple, it's simple to me because I've been doing it for years and years. If this is your first time, you may want to take note of a few points. Step forward and slightly out to one side. Body weight is transferred between one leg and the other slowly and with control. We don't fall into the step, but tentatively place a heel down first on the ground before slowly rolling forward through to the forefoot. Knees stay unlocked and we try to avoid bobbing up and down as much as we can. Once the weight is in the front leg, ensure that the knee is over the centre of the foot. If you look down and you can't see the tips of your toes or the end of your shoe, you may be bending your knee. Too much. In this variation of the above step, instead of stepping in front of you and slightly to one side, you're going to take a wider stance so that your heel goes out a little further to the side, touches the ground and then gently eases the body weight from the back foot into the front leg. A very simple step in which one leg is placed just in front of you slowly and with control, gently dropping the heel and only the heel onto the ground. Almost all of the body weight stays on the back leg. This is pretty much the same as the heel step, but instead of the heel touching the floor, it is the toes of the foot. Once again, most of the weight stays in the back leg. Like the step forward, one foot is picked up slowly and moved back. Toes touching the ground first before the weight is slowly rolled onto the leg. Try to step back, leave an approximately shoulder width between the feet. This simple shuffle is motored by the turn of the waist. By turning the waist one side and then back the other way, the feet follow and shuffle along. Try it. Just follow the weight and the turn of the hips. As its name implies, this move involves a step across the body with the toes turned out as though you were going to land on the side of the foot. Whenever we use this step, we are in transition, so it's not held for very long before we step forward again. This move, although a little more complex, is one of the most smoothest and most efficient transitional moves in Tai Chi. Spend a little time getting familiar with it, as it enables us to turn 180 degrees with ease and fluidity.